Hey friends, welcome to the channel. Today in this video, we're going to solve the readability problem of x6 of CS50. We are going to solve the readability problem. Click on this. We have solved this problem before. The user executes the program by saying Python and the program name. And then the user is prompted for the text. The user enters the text. And then we basically use this formula that we have to calculate something called the index, right? And then according to the index, we will display the grade level, the reading level. We have solved this problem before. I think it was week two. Anyway, so it's not very hard. We have solved it before. We just have to re-implement the program in Python. So again, we will click here, Visual Studio Code. We'll go there, we'll click on login. And after you log in, this is what you will see. Wonderful. So the very first thing that we will do is, we'll say navigate into week six, change directory. And once we are here, these are the folders that we have right now, but we are directed to create this folder, sentimental readability. So we'll say mkdir inside week six space and paste the name that we copied. And there we go, we have this folder. So we'll navigate into that folder, cd, paste it. Inside this folder, what we want to do is we want to create this program, readability.py code, and I'll paste the name, press enter. So the very first thing that we will do is we'll just go to week two, the program that we created previously, and I'll open up readability.c for reference. That is, we'll just copy the important parts from this program and we'll paste it there. We'll just change the implementation. So I'll copy this entire thing and I'll just paste it here. However, in Python, we should not be declaring or initiating variables in the same line. So basically what we are doing is we are using a for loop and then we are taking one character at a time and then we are comparing is this particular character equals to a space if it is we'll increase the value of word else if it is equals to dot or a question mark or exclamation mark then we will increase the value of sentence else if the character is a alphabet we'll increase the value of letter count right and then what we are going to do is we will say index equals the formula that we got from here and we change the formula slightly, but basically we want to copy and paste this entire thing, right? We have to use the formula and then we have to round it. Okay, let's just get into it. We will copy this entire thing. Okay, but before any of it, we need to get some input from the user. So I'll say let text equals input text. Once we have the text, then we want to get the character of each of the text. Here we used a for loop, but since we don't have a exact version of for loop here, what we can do is for char in text. This basically does the same thing. It will give us one character at a time. If you want to understand what I mean by that is, we can say print char. So let's say we were to say python readability.py. If we say hello, this will basically give us one character at a time. I'll get rid of this and I'll paste the entire thing that we copied. Make sure the indentation is correct. In python, we don't need curly braces and there's some other changes that we have to make so for example text i we don't need that we need we will replace it with a char char here also and once that is done we also need to get rid of the semicolons and also we don't have a exact uh, l plus plus in python so we'll have to say l plus equals one another thing we don't have a else if in python we are missing one other thing that is the columns so this way we will get a word count, sentence count, and letter count. So we'll just copy this entire thing without the semicolon and we'll come here, index this. Here, I'll get rid of this int thing because we don't have to do that in Python. We'll come here and then again, for the output, we'll copy this entire thing that we have. I'll come here, I'll paste it. And again, I'll get rid of the curly braces and semicolons. And here I'll put the columns, indent all of this properly colon again we have to fix this we will try to execute the program let's say it's hello we are missing something out first here we need to put char in python we also don't have something called is alpha like this we do have is alpha but the implementation is slightly different so basically the way we use is alpha is we say char dot is alpha so that should solve the problem let's say hello right we don't have something called printf in python we only have print 
okay once we have done this i will get rid of this we don't need a backslash n in python and hopefully this is all correct so to check what we'll do is let me get rid of this we will go back here and basically what we're supposed to do is we are supposed to use this sample text okay let's run the program paste it press enter before grade one wonderful harry blah blah blah, blah. i'll copy this entire thing i will run the program again paste it press enter grade five yeah good good now let's check whether or not our value or our program is correct clear the screen paste it here press enter and as you can see it's all green that is wonderful for styling we will click on style 50 up top looks good great i'll copy the submit code i'll come back here i'll clear the screen paste it press enter and it will ask us whether or not we are able to submit the program which we are so i'll say yes and then this is our score command click or control click as you can see we got 10 upon 10 for our logic and style 50 gave us a full point also that is wonderful so this is how we solve the readability problem of x6 of cs50 for upcoming problem sets make sure to click on the playlist that is currently being displayed on the screen i will see you in those videos until then take care